Hey everybody, my name's Tom and I'm here in my shop and I am uh, I wanted to share just a, a really brief and inexpert uh, video about my uh, gear hobbing system that's uh, modeled very closely on the system uh, from Andy's Machines on Facebook and Patreon. Um, after several experiments with the location of the shaft encoder, I hit on this arrangement uh, for the, uh, the encoder mounting. I'm using a horizontal adapter on a Bridgeport clone, and uh, that's the control box. Um, those of you who have followed the, the project on Andy's machines will recognize his 3D printed design for the faceplate. Um, I've used a, uh, a, a slightly beefier version of the fourth axis uh, with a, a NEMA 34 a high torque stepper and a three to one drive. The encoder is a direct drive uh, directly from the, the spindle of the horizontal assembly. Um, in fact, it couples to the um, to a hex on the top of the drawbar. Uh, and that actually works pretty well. And had I thought about it a little bit more, I would have um, done something like that with uh, uh, the drawbar on the vertical spindle, which was my kind of my first attempt. Um, the system works pretty well. I still have some issues with the timing. Um, I've put together, I, I just, got finished taking a slow motion video uh, to show the relationship between the timing mark on the gear here and a similar mark on the arbor. And, uh, and I'm going to analyze that a little bit and, if I, and see uh, if I can tell what's going on. Uh, but at very slow feed rates, I'm getting some advancing in the, in the position of the, um, the stepper driven spindle uh, relative to the uh, to the arbor so that's a that's a concern uh, for particularly for slow feed rates it seems like it's an accumulation of errors somehow and I'm not sure where that's coming from uh, at at fast feed rates the system works very well and produces a, a decent quality tooth uh, but in the end my um, my decision to go with the horizontal arrangement was driven more by the uh, the need to have um, kind of full support at both ends of the arbor. Um, I was having some very audible chatter uh, cutting aluminum gears with the uh, with the system. I haven't tried this horizontal setup yet, uh, but I'm I'm confident it's going to at least be more rigid and and hopefully produce a higher quality gear. Anyway, um, that's it for now. Uh, I want to publicly thank Andy and all the other uh, commenters and hobbyists on the site that have uh, that are working through their own versions of this. Um, but particularly Andy for all the hard work on the software. Um, that is uh, much appreciated and would have been a much more difficult project without that uh, without that support. Anyway, that's it for now uh, from my shop. Um, I uh, want to wish all my fellow hobbyists well, and uh, I hope you enjoy the video.